Welcome to the Lads AM Podcast, a show for those late night ramblings you only get when the rest of the world is asleep. This show is available in both podcast and Let's Play form. Check out our social media to find out how to listen the way you want to. Tonight, we are playing Castle Crashers. No! Crap. It's too late! He bought Twitter! <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm gonna go tweet <sighs> some slurs, <laughs> boys! Let's right, go! So... <laughs> Are, are we just starting right off and talking oh, yeah. about oh, this? Oh, oh, I, oh yeah. I don't. <laughs> Dust, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Keep going. Ignore me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, mouse is useless. Okay. That'll make you. All right. All good? Yeah. All good? Go yeah. Okay. <laughs> what? Dude. All right. So. He fucking bought Twitter. He actually so... did it. So how long Madden. until Twitter fails as a company? How long until we make a goddamn Tumblr for the podcast, just in preparation of everyone moving over there? Of all the places for Twitter users to move to, you think it's going to be Tumblr? What Absolutely. do you want to move? Yeah. What do you want to? What do you want to move to Parlor? <laughs> no. <laughs> I feel like we could do really good on Parlor. You know, I feel like that's our target demographic, actually. Oh, Tumblr well, just seems like an odd choice. Yeah, okay. and also, yeah. also they can. Uh, yeah. Remember when Tumblr was a big thing? Like, ever like people liked Tumblr, and then they got rid of porn, and then everyone left. It's back now. No, that was OnlyFans. No, the OnlyFans took over. Remember when OnlyFans removed porn? OnlyFans well, like, thought about well, doing never, it, just and it lasted. It, yeah. And it lasted about like a day. Tumblr say, happened last, a like, while ago. Yeah. When um but it's back on Tumblr it? now. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, well, that's in you perusing? No. Of course. Oh. Definitely not. No way. No, Why would not. I ever do that? Dustin's a I man would of never God. follow the Overwatch 2 Tumblr page. <laughs> no way, no sir. Oh boy. <laughs> that would never be me. I've never used Tumblr before. I got a little more specific than I needed it to be. I've never but you know what? Maybe. Unless something new comes out, but I don't really foresee that happening. So, from what I've already heard, uh, Kanye is already unbanned. I've seen conflicting things on that, too. Is he actually unbanned? I saw that, like, he was unbanned, or his Twitter his account was unsuspended, but uh, as I was reading through uh, our new Lord Emperor Elon Musk's uh, tweets and replies, uh... I think that happened before he took over. Oh, okay. That's what I saw. And that's what and I saw then... the man himself say. But on it also, this is Elon Musk we're talking about. Right. A literal joke. Man child. Yeah. Yeah, I saw HuffPost say that Kanye got his account back. And then immediately uh -huh. HuffPost said, oops, never mind. So that's why I'm confused. Oh, really? Yeah. It was like, oh, we don't know if he's actually got it back or not. Okay. So, similar question. Uh, what's the status of uh, T Rump? Uh, T, T Rump? Still gone, still gone yeah. now, as far as I know. The real one? Yeah, the real one. The real one? Not the well, POTUS I mean, account. I, <laughs> <laughs> I think I know what happened all, with the POTUS account. All presidents are now banned because of his past actions. Dude. <laughs> Isn't that just no account? president was banned faster on Twitter than Woodrow Wilson, let me tell you. Oh, of course, dude of got course. banned on Twitter immediately. All that, st all that stuff he said about the uh, Woodrow Wilson's policies, the things he did as a president, of course. Those yeah, things, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, you, fucking... want, you want to talk about the worst thing that he did? Oh, you mean Watergate? <laughs> 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 the League of Nations. Uh, there you Woodrow go. Wilson did... Oh wait, uh. wait, was League of Nations right? Yeah. Damn it! Ah, I wanted to say like three bad answers. Wilson was World War One. I. I just made that up. I no, I nailed it. <laughs> well, then you, you ruined it by getting it, it right. I, was, um, I didn't mean to. Sorry. Smart man. Uh, it's 1916 to 1920. <sighs> Bro, I had, I had, a, I had, a, I was gonna be like, I don't know. 
what was I gonna say? I said Watergate, uh, Hiroshima, Nagasaki, uh, Green New Deal, the New Deal, and then they added their egg colors. I was named my Pokemon D and D character Woodrow. Oh my goodness! Yeah. After the president, so yeah, I yeah. have I, now... I, looked up, I looked up names for rats, and one of them was Woodrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! All right, right, Matt. Yeah. Without going into it, because if if you want to keep it as a surprise for Dustin, that's fine. But I need to ask a question. Yeah, go for it. When you came up with your character's name, yeah. was it intending to be a joke or not? Binky. Yes. A, a joke on what? Like just it being like a joke name, kind of. I thought. It, I, I mean, I don't know, man. I thought it was a good name. <laughs> Binky. Well, I, don't know. I was going to name him. I, was gonna I just name, think of pacifiers, so. I was going to name him also. I was, well, it was a, it was possibly going to be Blinky because he has one, because he has one eye. But then you uh, didn't like, want to be the Pac-Man ghost. Blings. I did not know one of the Pac-Man ghost names was Blinky. Yeah. Yeah. I just, um. Orange one, I, actually. I just, re I just took Blinky and reduced it to Binky. Oh, yeah. And that was, and that's his name. And he, and also, I think because he's a Beldum, I think he'll be very funny when he's a, if he's a Metagross named Binky. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty funny. Yeah, because yeah, you told me your name, and I'm like, okay, a little bit of a joke name. That's fine, no problem with that. And and then George a sent me his name, and it's also kind of a joke name. And I'm like, oh, oh, oh what's his name? Boy, um, I'm gonna have to real look. Because I don't recall off the top of my head. Well, we're in a cutscene, so that gives me a quick suck. Um, his name was Wiggums. Wiggums. I love that. Am I the only one with a somewhat normal name? Uh, so far, yes. Your first D D character's name was Keith. Yeah, that's the most normal <laughs> name. Yeah, of course you are. Don't, don't actually wait, that. Dustin. Did you give me a character name? Yeah. Wait, what was your character name? Drake. Oh, wait, what was Zach's? Oh, like the rapper? <laughs> no, just Drake. Oh, because again, again, I looked up good names for rats, and Drake is on there. I was like, oh, that's a good D&D &D name. I'm I going to remember what Zach's name was. I'm going to start listening to Drake just so I can make Drake references the whole campaign. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> and then, and the, well, I mean, do you, do you listen to Drake at all? Uh, oh, I listen to so much Drake, you know? <laughs> I know of like the real popular stuff, but that's mm. about it. I know none I of have this to stuff. Maybe I don't have to listen to Drake. Maybe I can just do the the, the greatest hits. <laughs> yeah, I'll I'll understand those probably. Although every time, although every time anyone does anything cool, I want you to put Where the uh, the the Drake oh, the Drake clapping gif. <laughs> <laughs> when he's at the Discord. I can do that, yeah. Nice. <laughs> like, yeah, let's go. But yeah, no, I'm starting to actually get some good stuff in for the campaign. Nice. It helps that people are finally actually sending me notes. Oh, I'm glad after I'm I the last DM. One. I, no, I DM'd everyone. Oh, okay. I was worried I was the last one. No, I'm still waiting on notes from Georgia. Of course you. Well, obviously. George I sent me a message and basically said um, he's still working on it, but it's going to be good. And I'm like, oh boy. Oh boy. And then Fanning give me, gave me like half his notes, but he's like, I'm going to add a little more. So I think you two, I pretty much get the gist of what you're going for. Nice. Um, nice. I will... My plan basically is when we do the session zero next week to send or to, you know, roll stats, but also to determine uh, to send everyone like a notes thing, basically re-summarizing your backstory, but with like in-game locations and stuff like where you are from where you probably have been. Okay. Damn, where'd um, you get that idea from? Uh, you, actually. That's crazy. 
<laughs> yeah, you see, I'm trying to improve upon the last campaign already. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. No, I've got plans for this campaign, my dude. Nah, I don't want to say too much about my character, but I was well, making the backstory. Oh, yeah, go on. Uh, I came up with it. I was like, oh, that's a good idea to go with. Then I realized I literally just did Todoroki. <laughs> uh, wait, that... really? Yeah, wait. It's, literally, it's literally just wait. Todoroki. Like, right, almost like, to a T. Wait, like, okay. the, like including the dark part? The darker parts? Uh, it's not as dark. All it's right. like a lighter version of the dark parts. <laughs> so, okay. so, Matt, do me a favor, because I know Dustin's backstory. You don't, yes. but you know Todoroki, and I don't. I know so, Todoroki. So explain to me in basic terms the plot of Todoroki, and I'll tell you how much it lines up. <laughs> the plot so Tod of Todoroki. Totoroki is a character. <laughs> He's a character in My Hero Academia. Oh, 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 I thought that was the name of the show. <laughs> no, I did make it sound like that, though. That's on me. Alright, but oh, on. Todoroki is my favorite anime. Todoroki is just a little bit of a, a little, a little bit of an edgy boy. At least at first. Or at least his design's a little bit of an edgy boy. Uh, he's the son of the number two slash number one hero. Okay. Uh, based on where you're talking about. Okay. Uh, he's basically the. Okay, so basically in my hero, sometimes if your two parents have quirks, your quirk can be like a combination of those two. So okay, he's yeah. basically the last. His ba basically his parents were like. Doesn't help me out here. They're like an arranged marriage kind of deal, right? Yeah. Like they they were they became a family solely because they had two very powerful quirks. And they wanted to put those powers together. So and, kind of uh, kind of a genetic uh, lottery type of deal. All right. Their powers were fire and ice. Ah, okay. So I'm loving this both. already. He I like me a fire and ice combo. Yeah, he got pretty much both fire and ice. Uh, like perfectly balanced. Quirks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, his dad was kind of a dick. Wasn't a, really a great guy. So Toru was, was the dad the fire or was the dad the ice? Uh, fire. Oh, uh, shocking. Okay. So basically when he started early on in the show, uh, he decided that he was never going to use his fire powers and only ever used ice. Oh, I see. But then through the power of friendship, the main character, Deku Midoriya, convinced him that it, the power was his own. And then he and decided then he... to use fire actually. <laughs> yeah, and then Deku got so, absolutely uh... rolled. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Wait, say that again, Matt? The main character basically oh, yeah. convinced Todoroki that... To use the firepower. To use the firepower because, you know, and make the power his own. And then he lost to Todoroki, yes. Dustin, you literally copied it to a T. Well, no, 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 Because no. <laughs> that implies my character won. My character <laughs> lost. He's saying the main character who convinced him to use his power uh, lost. And then lost, yeah. Yeah. He got destroyed by Todoroki because he started using his fire powers. Oh, oh, oh. I thought Todoroki got destroyed because of that. No, okay. no, no. Yeah, no, that's pretty similar. <laughs> it's very similar. <laughs> After I came up with that, I was like, dang it. That's okay. <laughs> and then I stole an arc from Dragon Ball, but that was on purpose. <laughs> hey, you're not the first person to ever steal something for D&D, &D, let me tell you that. <laughs> yeah, you know how much shit Matt steals from... Um... Jojo's? Shut up. I have never. I have not. I don't think I've ever. Well, I guess I've watched one episode of Jojo's as per the agreement that I made with, with Dustin. And that I would watch one episode, and based on that one episode, it would determine whether I watched a series or not. And I still have not watched Jojo's. I don't plan on it. That's fair. Show show me a world where that scene with the cherry doesn't exist and we're living in and we live in a different timeline. You know what I mean? Ah. Uh, yeah. You know, it's funny because as someone who has not seen the show, I know exactly what you mean by the cherry. Mm, yes. Or the uh or the torture dance is another one. Uh classic so, scene like reviving me. Not really. No, I'm good. Oh my god, I thought I was blue. <laughs> <laughs> I was oh, literally <laughs> mashing <laughs> down I thought I was blue. I was like, why is no one helping me over here? Oh, yeah, that was pretty good. You've just been sitting here the whole time? I don't know. Did At you one think point, 
<laughs> I, I switched from red to blue in my head. But did right you think, there, did you think you were down and not moving? Yeah, I thought I was down and no one was I helping thought, me. I was wondering what you were doing. Oh yeah, we get to fight each other now. My controller shook off. No fair. I no. thought I was blue again. <laughs> my computer showed up. Oh my god, I blame the controller. <laughs> well, orange one. I'm okay, fine kill her with that. too. Oh. Nope, I respect women. So. So yeah, no, you guys have some interesting backstories so far, so. I think this will be an interesting and fun campaign. Mm. Can we add Elon Musk to the campaign? Oh, boy. Can we? Um. Can what, what Pokemon would Elon Musk be? Pokemon would Elon Musk be? What is the pinnacle Pokemon of Elon Musk? What Pokemon or has, like, power and resources, but is also just cringe? That's Charizard. Power and re Yeah, that's kind of Charizard. <laughs> I say Charizard. Power and resources, but is cringe. But is cringe and not funny. Come on, I'm Junior. Mime Jr. Or it really Mr. would Mime. be a Mr. Mime, huh? <laughs> Mr. Mr. Rhyme? Mr. Rhyme? Mr. 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 Rhyme. Mr. Must just bought... Mr. Mime just bought Twitter. I'd rather Mr. Mime own Twitter than Elon Dude, Musk. Dude, I'd rather most people own Twitter than Elon Did Musk, you... I think. The, the fact that he tweeted the bird... It was like, uh, the bird is freed. Oh, that was so cringe. And it, so just, it's, it just seems so clear... That everything he says about like the future of Twitter can you can just put the idea of him wanting to say slurs, and it matches perfectly. Red. And I don't know how to feel about it. Yeah, Dustin, you're red. Yo. I don't know what this is, but I'm riding it. Hope Famous he was serious words. about that uh, bot thing. Although you say I actually cared about bots. Oh, you get rid of it. Yeah, if Twitter he can bots. just follow through on that, I'm like, you know what? Fine, I'm cool with it. Who cares? Do you do you encounter Twitter bots a lot? Not particularly, but I just think in general the internet would be better with less bots. No, you're right. Okay, you're good. For the, for the sake of the people, I want bots the... gone. Oh, for things above, for you know, above yourself. That's very uh, it's very noble of you, Dustin. Yeah. Actually, now I think really... I do get a bunch of random TMs from. Trying to you, for me a job at do, do you get the do you get the uh, message requests of a group of like fifty people? Yeah, that's what I was. Yeah, yeah, and they keep oh, yeah. jobs at Amazon. Yeah, yeah, that's. Oh, is that what it is? I never actually look. I just delete it. <laughs> yeah, I always well, report no, spam. Fair. Oh, you actually. Re Maybe I should do that. Yeah, Maybe I'm, I'm part of the problem over here. I'm doing my part. Yeah, team up with Musk <laughs> and get rid of those bots from that. Uh, yeah, I'll team up with Musk. Did you see that I tweeted at Musk from the account? I did, and I retweeted Wait, did you? I verify our podcast, please. <laughs> yeah, I said check out our podcast. Oh, boy. I mean, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. You're right. That's fact. Um, Got a real point. Matt. Uh, me. I had an interesting thought about 10 minutes before we started. Okay. So... Uh, while we're waiting for Dustin to show up, I went to get some candy that is, uh, for Halloween. Uh, yes, that is happening soon. It will happen by the t have happened, yeah. uh, by the time this goes out. So how is everyone's Halloween? It was great. Uh, yeah, oh, time. pretty was really uneventful. Fun. Although that was a really fun D&D campaign we did. Dude, I was, I was so worried it wasn't I gonna I can't believe well. I rolled three not 20s in a row. That, that's crazy. And it's crazy how you gambled away. Yeah, you know. It's crazy how Fanning somehow lost to hunt like five hundred dollars in playing D and D. Yeah, know. that's that's wild. Um So Matt. Yes. As a kid, when you went trick or treat oh boy, you guys are As a kid, when you went trick or treating. Yes. What did you do with all the chocolate? My mom took on it. Wow. She made it actually end it. It actually worked out well because I have heard of people in the past being like, or like seeing like, oh, my parents took my Halloween candy or parents dipping into their kids' Halloween candy and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, but I never had that problem because me and my mom had a very uh, you had a lot efficient of candy system. Yeah. I did not ever have to. She never took any of my candy 
because she just got all the chocolate. It was actually a pretty uh, mutually beneficial agreement. I see. Yeah. So, what what kind of do you still get like chocolate to give out for Halloween? For Halloween, or well, I guess you're in a different situation. Do do you give out candy for Halloween? I did one year because I wanted to, but based on how my house is like an apartment, it doesn't really. It's not really. I'd have to go all the way downstairs with yeah, the to, candy. The house would have to agree on one person to give out the Halloween candy, wouldn't they? Pretty <laughs> much. Also, my oh, neighborhood God. just doesn't really get a lot. I know I, I did it one year for for just because I wanted to, and but I never. I didn't really get a lot of people. Are not around here. My street's kind of that weird out of the way. Yeah. So. I don't know what I was thinking. I bought the Halloween candy this year, and mm. I bought four bags of candy. Okay. And in all the years that I've, and in the last like 10 years, I think the most number of kids I've ever had come to my house for trick or treating is like six. Really? Yeah, like no one comes down my street, Dustin. Huh. It just don't happen. Dude, you got a bag for each kid that comes over. Did you no, give him a whole bag? No, like I said, I've already been eating it all. Oh, that'd be crazy. Oh, okay. no, that'd be crazy if you just gave one kid like a whole bag and was like, yeah, oh, wow. make their Halloween. Also, it gets better because not only did I buy four bags, turns out that before I bought those four bags, my parents already bought like three bags. So you so that's where all the candy went. The, the Rob household hoarding it. Well, that's why no accident, one trick or treats in your neighborhood. <laughs> no one has any candy because you guys keep bawling all of it. I think the reason that monopoly no one... on the candy. Oh god. I think the reason that nobody trick or treated on in my neighborhood is that for a long time I was the only kid. I mean, no one else within three years of my age was on my street. Really, it was like me, and then like the next youngest kid was like five or six years younger, maybe even more. No, that makes sense. So. I agree. I I agree. Do you do you do you, uh, you Halloween dust? Do you give what kids candy? Do you give kids uh, candy? We just leave the bowl out up front, and then my kids take it. Oh, you go to the honor system. Yeah. We don't really do right, fair enough. much. Fair enough. So therefore, enough. I don't have any idea how many kids we get in Halloween. Mm. That'll be interesting because I think my dad's going to be doing Halloween this year since I'll be busy with D&D &D and my mom's going to be at my sister's to do trick or treating with my nephew. Yo, let's oh, go. What's he going to be? Uh, so my nephew is Lightning McQueen. Nice. <laughs> and, well, so he watches a lot of Pixar movies. Is he sentient? Well, sort of, because not really. When I saw him, it didn't look like there was a single thought behind those eyes. I saw him I, Look, my sister says he likes uh, Pixar movies, all right? So, mm -hmm. as far as I can tell, uh, his favorite Pixar movie, uh, you, you'll never guess what it is. Uh, you ready? Yeah. Cars 2? Nice. Like, not the good cars. The shit one. I'm not convinced he understands what's going on. Well, my well, sister's the one doesn't. who likes to play the movie not... all the time. It's clearly like, just, he just likes the characters, obviously. He's not, like, obviously, you know, playing attention to the plot of, Matt, car, the plot of Matt, cars. Don't get me wrong. I'm agreeing. Has he un does, does he understand the consequences that exist because that 9-11 has 100% happened in the Cars universe? Does he know about plans. the pussy? Does he know about Cosi? But Does he um, under I mean, he would have to understand where he came from before he understands where cars where baby from. where baby cars come from. So is he aware of the numerous examples that uh of that uh that headlights? Like, did he understand when the two he, Lightning McQueen fans flashed their headlights? Did he understand what that meant, dude? I think the only thing that he is consciously aware of is I was eating a bag of Cheetos. He, he was ignoring me all day today 
And then the mm -hmm. moment I sat down with a bag of Cheetos, he immediately walked right over to me like he wanted Cheetos. Wow. All right. So I gave him some Damn. Cheetos. He's your nephew. <laughs> Um, so not only is my nephew Lightning McQueen, but my sister, brother-in-law, and the puppy are all members of his pit crew. Nice. Who gets to be the Which Italian? Who's the Italian? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How did we both think of the same thing? Dude. Ask who's going to be the Italian? <laughs> who's, who's the Italian? Because he's sick. I don't actually, think there's the actually a like, pit crew in the Cars universe. I think oh. they're just kind of generic pit oh. crew. Oh. But I haven't seen their costumes yet. Just get one of them like in a get one of them like the the thin mustache. <laughs> Let him be the the one that's like super good. And everyone's mm -hmm. making fun of him. Nah. You know you know what I just realized? You should send a message in the D D chat saying that everyone has to dress up as their um D D character on Monday. I'm what? too tall. In the, what, dress up as their D D character behind their yeah, I in their house. Yeah. You feel yeah. like D &D, did you forget? Party. It's <laughs> no, it's just me wearing <laughs> them wearing a weird costume in their room alone yeah, on Halloween. No, That's no, even no. more we'll, sad. We'll, we'll turn on like webcams for a second or something. What are you, you haven't even told me what character you're playing? Uh, yeah, mostly because I haven't decided. Cool. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Am I the only one that's messaged you about that, Matt? Uh. No. Oh, okay. Am I the only one that hasn't? No. Let me guess. You're waiting on me. You're waiting on Seth. No, he was the first. Well, he hasn't. Conf I guess he only Seth hasn't totally confirmed it, but he did ask about it, and I think he said he said it was. Sick. He's. I think he. I think he. Forever. I think he said yeah. I think he said he was. Who, who are you going to be, Dustin? I'm just going to be Troy because I don't want to try to find the character sheets for the other characters. Aww. Well, all right. Well, that changes what I'm going to do. Because I was thinking of being Ty because I was like, no one's going to be their current campaign character. No one's going to be there. Yeah, so I'm giving you the option of picking I, I, any I, I character you that you've this. played in the past. I, I can tell you this. It's either going to be... At this point, it's either going to be Frogar or it's going to be a character from the Pokemon campaign. Dude, you should do Pokemon, then Fanny can be Sisabet, And then we go on from each campaign. You... You could. That would that would be kind of cool. I didn't want to influence at all. The the only thing I, about the Pokemon one is I was like, well, what NPC would I even be? The, I thought wouldn't it be the one thing I did consider. So you said make them what max level? No, I said keep them at whatever level they are. Okay. So here's a question, Matt. Yeah. Would it be okay to use an NPC that you guys technically never fought in battle, but someone you've met in the campaign? Because I'm... was One of the one things I was considering was being Red, a.k.a. John Connor. Um... I mean, do whatever you want. It, it, that, that definitely wasn't in, like, my original vision. I mean, uh, you know, and it'd be a it, little bit more. It'd be a little bit more. I guess I would feel a little bit like I wouldn't be able to actually like. I mean, it'd be fine. I what, mean, if you don't want me to be it, that's fine. No skin off my back. Dude, be Arceus. <laughs> Dude, can I just play as Arceus or something? I would prefer if it was a character that you've played. Not a Pokemon. He played as Arceus. Yeah. <laughs> I, it, it's, a, it's weird, but I kind of wanted to make somewhat sense. <laughs> I know. Okay. I know. <laughs> 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 it's like, I mean, yeah. I mean, I did too. Let's not forget. <laughs> no, you were a Ditto that turned into Arceus. I, was a, I played a Ditto. I forgot that you transformed into Arceus. Dude, I, we, we spent... I, I had that plan... Like months in advance. <laughs> oh boy! And I'm like, this is how I'm going to determine whether Rob's a good, cool DM or not. <laughs> and he lets me do this. I was. This is serious cool. This is this is for cool points. I've been going um... through the list of moves, getting ready for this campaign, and 
there was one move that some of the move, some of the Pokemon moves I changed how they normally work to better fit with like D and D, so that there's actually moves that like you know inflict charmed or frightened or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I made a single Pokemon move uh, that instead of doing what it would normally do in Pokemon, it allows you to become invisible. And then I looked at who can learn the move, and I won't say who, but there is someone this campaign who can actually learn the move. They can just, okay, they can turn invisible. Uh, well, so not right away, but when they do learn the move. Cool. As long as they do what I expect them to do, I should say. I'm not even, you know what, I won't be vague. Um, it's Georgia. He could have simply just picked the Furbolg. <laughs> no, it's Georgia, but it depends on how he evolves, basically, because he's Burmy. Oh, I see, I see. I understand, I understand. No, my idea is my my idea is just kind of like meeting you know, have a bunch of people from different campaigns all at one point, and then they like interact, and then you know, interactions that would not happen otherwise. Okay, um, then yeah, I'll probably just do Fergar then. I mean, it's also cool that there's people that would be in the same one, yeah, you know, yeah, <clears throat> interdimensional travel and all that jazz, yeah. I just gotta think of how I actually want to do it because it's gonna be a. Uh, it's honest. I don't think I, I'm not ruining it by saying it. It's gonna be a murder, like murder mystery, like dinner party type Ooh. of deal. Is what it oh, is. Oh, yay! A bunch of puzzles. Great for this group. <laughs> <laughs> there is that. There, that is part of it. <laughs> that there is a lot of puzzles and a lot of thinking, which typically doesn't go very well for you guys. Uh, but you know what? That's part of the challenge. You know. So. I could throw enemies at you, and you guys could be like, oh. The... So that answers that question, because in my mind, I'm like, well, if we're all going to be vastly different levels, then how is this going to be balanced? I can, you can, okay, I mean, you can, you can balance combat for different Dustin, you're levels. Dustin, you're red. Did, did we lose Dustin? Uh-oh. This is, this is Power Wash Simulator vibes. Yeah. Beat him up. Get his ass. Kick him. Okay, one lays down. Get him. Fucking go. Dude. Darn, I was hoping is... I'd be faster. Oh, hi. <laughs> what? I was running to get my I was running to get my charger. Ah, fun. <laughs> and you just hoping we wouldn't notice. I was hoping I would be fast enough where I could just come back and you wouldn't have to point it out. <laughs> so Dustin, if you were gonna do that, what you needed to do is do it when we were in the middle of fighting a big horde of enemies. Oh, and he just stands there still. And then he's like, oh, you're We're at the beginning of the level. We needed you to move right. Oh, well. Dude, this country's moving right. That's what I'm saying. Uh, I don't like it. Possibly. All right. So. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. I was going to say, I heard of some interesting news today. Um, Have you guys heard about the new tomato that just dropped? No. Tomato Town? Just uh, so it was town. just approved by the USDA is a purple tomato. Wait, <laughs> wait, wait, is it like manufactured? Yes. Oh, okay. Because I'm wondering like what, so what it's, rounds does the well, FDA I, have? I, I guess I'm man sorry, 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 sorry. I said, I said, uh, I think I said the wrong thing. The agriculture group. Oh, um, the nerds. Sure, whatever. Um, essentially, they genetically modified tomatoes. Cool. And the purpose was to make a breed of tomato, I think, that lasts longer, but I'm going bad. And as part of that, it's purple. <laughs> Interesting. There was a new so, apple yeah. last year, I think. Was there a oh. last year or earlier this year? Where are you guys getting your food updates? I've never heard about uh, any of this. I saw the tomato on Reddit. I was listening to a podcast and they talked about it. New foods that go hard Twitter account. <laughs> <laughs> it's apparently like really good. Really tasty apple. 
Oh wow, we gotta get some. Yeah. How do, who do I gotta who do I gotta bribe to get some of these new apples? Someone in Washington, I guess, because I think that's where they are right now. Most. How many? Uh, the state I, like, or I, like the wait city? In, wait in line. What is the DC if it's a city? Um. Uh, well, well, okay. Hmm. All right. Well, I guess we're going. Uh, Dustin and I already were there. Yeah, you didn't get any apples, so we gotta go again. Yeah, yeah. Dustin didn't tell me to. Yeah, it's a big L on my part. Oh well, to be fair, even if we got those apples, we would have lost them as soon as we entered California. That is a good point. Yeah. Why would you? Have, did they not let you bring fruit in? Oh, did we well, never tell unclaimed. you about this? <laughs> unclaimed, at least. Oh, oh wait, my I think goodness. you may. I think you may have. I think you may have mentioned it at some point. Like I California has a the pilot. Yeah. Oh, we did well, not was, have to go through ten customs years ago. at all going into Canada, but we had to go through customs going into California. They, no, actually, they, we had to stop well, the car. And in, they... Uh, they checked our car going to Canada. They didn't like go through anything. Well, I guess they didn't in California go either. In California. I guess. All right. Fair enough. But yeah, they were like, uh, we had to pull over and they were like, hey, you got any uh, fruits or vegetables in there? Yeah, why are you even looking for guns or anything? They're specifically like, got any uh, fruits yeah, and no, vegetables they, or anything They there. go hardcore on fruits and veggies. Damn. No, but I have this AK-47. No, 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 we're not talking about that. No, we, what, we, what are those we, apples doing back there? <laughs> what are you doing? I, those I noticed, watching that? Oh, absolutely not. I noticed, sir, you are traveling with a coconut. I like the idea of, like, you have, like, a secret compartment in the bottom of your van. And they open it, and in there is like six six packs of like cocaine, a bunch of and guns. They're like, hey, and then wait they're like, a "All right, all right, you're good to go." And then they see your lunch that you packed, and there's apple <laughs> and slices there's a banana in, there. in there. And they're like, "Whoa, wait a minute, Colin, call, <laughs> gonna call, gonna call dispatch. What's going on here?" I I think These fools it... try to bring some unregistered fruit into the fine state of california yeah i think the reasoning was something along the lines of california believes that like every chemical that exists on this earth can cause cancer and like they don't want any of that shit entering the state or something i don't know. just you know i'm the state I, I, of California person, has but... attributed all of their earthquakes to fruit. <laughs> <laughs> There's some crack scientist in California that convinced their government that the reason that they have so many earthquakes is because of, like, people having, like, too much vitamin C. So, you know how people debate on, like, if tomatoes are a fruit or a vegetable? I don't know if it's much of a debate uh, anymore, but go ahead. It's kind of outdated, but it, but, it was a thing. Um, it, it was a big thing. Are there yeah, is there any uh, is there any kind of food that people question if it's like a fruit slash veggie or something else? Uh, not that I know. I mean, I mean, there's a bunch of like the weird classifications, like, how, like things how, that are berries are... and not things that like are technically berries, or like it's something like strawberry I mean, is like a actually a every. Well, like some things are like are not actually considered berries, but will have berry in the name. There's a bunch of stuff like that. Like right. a banana, uh, a strawberry, or something like that. Like bananas, technically a berry. Yeah, something like that. So, California cared about the agriculture stuff, right? And that's why they ask about fruits and veggies. So, sure. if we had sesame seeds, like uh, would those be kosher? Maybe. I, don't, I remember it was like fruit, I don't, veggies, meats. Wait, I don't remember what the full list was. Wait, why are we talking about kosher now? <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Just, oh, okay. You were just, oh, you were, yeah, okay, never mind. You're just using kosher as in like being okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Not, okay, because I'm like, well, now, well, now why <laughs> does the state of California so much care about whether it's kosher? I'm not familiar with the, the massive Jewish population of California. Oh, I mean, California does have a massive Jewish population, I'm pretty sure, but... I mean, they have a massive everything population. Yeah, well, they, they, have, they have a massive population. <laughs> oh, yeah, true. I mean, pick pick any category, they probably have a massive population of it. Republicans? Maybe. I mean, yeah, Northern California. Yeah, probably. I was hoping it would be no, but... But, um... 
what I was going to mention earlier, because you said like the country's going right. It reminded me. So I shared this with, in the Discord uh, earlier. This, or it was like yesterday, a couple of days ago. I got a notification on my phone. Look to see what it is. <laughs> it's, it's an email from none other than President Joe Bi Joseph R. Biden, it says. And yeah, what first, was that? Yeah. First line of it says, Dustin, it's Joe <laughs> Biden. <laughs> that that was very funny. That was very funny. Did you see what I replied with? Uh, I did, but I forget what it is right now. I I said, uh, Dustin, it's Joe Biden. I'm putting together. I'm putting together oh, a yeah, team. I'm putting together a team. <laughs> Wait, so that was an actual email you got? Like, a, yeah. as a oh, can you say what the I think, like, reasoning of that something. email? Uh, he has some uh, documents you want to send over. Just you know, too serious. Oh, okay, okay, I see. <laughs> but um, no, it was just like a, it was just like a thing. It's like, oh, midterms are coming up. Take this survey to see uh, what you want us Democrats to be taken care of. Oh, uh, okay. I took it. Very stupid. Uh, uh, survey. Basically, just talking about election stuff. Wait, like, so oh, what do you want us to do? And every question had the answer, all of it. So I just kept picking that. All Wait, so it was an actual things. thing from like maybe not Biden, but like from it the was Democrat actually party. from Biden from the DNC. Dude, I thought for sure it was like going to be a scam or something. No, 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 it's from the DNC. What the? F Although what that did do, taking that survey, seems to have opened up the floodgates. Yeah, I would. I could say. <laughs> in oh my, my emails, goodness. now I have a uh, representative Tim Ryan saying Dustin never bet against Ohio. <laughs> uh, oh, never. I would never bet, bet against Ohio. It would be just and a fool I, to bet against Ohio. I got one from Michael Bennett. Uh, I got one from Tim Kaine. <laughs> Super fun. Just getting oh, all, love, of these these all of these emails from these people running for re-election. <laughs> can, can, can I talk about something that frustrates me that's also a little... Alright, so... I am in a position currently where I'm fortunate enough that I am able and choose to uh, donate to a couple different charities once in a while, okay? Nice. Um, very okay. recently, the amount of mail I've gotten asking for donations to charity has gotten absolutely ridiculous. I'm getting a piece of mail every three days. Wow, that's crazy. About donate to this cause or that cause. Well, yeah. Well, now your your name and address is just on a list that gets passed around. Right, I get that, but like, if you, I feel like if you send that many notices to people, you're more likely going to turn people away than get donors. I feel like. Uh -huh. it's I'm not saying stories. don't send mail out, but like. Don't send it out at that much. Of I I think that it, I think that makes sense, but I feel like the concept of charity and ma reaching out through the mail has been around long enough that if that was a significant issue, that they were discouraging people, uh, it would have been solved by they would have figured that out by now. Yeah, that pretty some, some sort of study that's going around that yeah. proves why they keep doing that. Yeah, it, it's just it's just one of those things where it's like. We're, you're, you're, we're not talking about new chart, new territory. No, I got that. Yeah, but but I mean, yeah, I mean, I could see it that happening. I I don't donate to charity at all. Fuck them. No, I donate wow. to charity. I have. I just get. I don't get like physical stuff though. I just get emails. Like I know when the I know when the the bail project was a big thing. I donated towards that, and I get emails every now and again. Nice, but, they, but it's not like a not like a ton. Well, I want to start donating blood. Yeah, I'll take. I've it. donated blood before. Like for free? Like you'll give it to me? Like I'll take. I could use it. I'll find. <laughs> yeah. I did. Um, when I was in college, I donated blood twice. Twice. Um, I stopped because the second time I donated blood, the nurse kept drinking it. I actually got. <laughs> What'd you say? The nurse kept drinking. Yeah, drinking it. The blood. Oh boy. No, the second time I donated blood, I actually got incredibly sick. Oh no. I was sick for like a week. And I don't know. I think it might have been like the flu at this point or something. It might have had nothing to do with giving blood, but. 
it was enough of a coincidence that it scared me away from it for a bit. That's fair. Some people just aren't built know. different. Built, yeah. Some people are just built different. I've thought about uh, going back though and donating blood again. Something I might do in the future. Yeah. Oh. Speaking of mail, my brother got jury duty before me. You haven't gotten jury duty yet? Nope. God. But my brother just got it the other day. I'm s I'm so ups every time people mention jury duty, I get upset. Cause I've been eligible for jury duty for six years. Okay. And you can only get every three years, so the maximum amount of time I could have done it is twice. And I okay. have done it twice. Nice. I got it like right when I turned what was it, eighteen for it, probably? Yeah, 18. Right when I right when I turned eighteen, I got it, and then three years later, damn, they got me again. And then I find out that wait, there are people wait. that are like in their like fifties or sixties that have never gotten it. I'm like, that's so, so stupid. And didn't you like so, di didn't go to actual like court for it? Like, didn't the, your cases get dropped or whatever? Uh, both time. One time I actually got into like the courtroom, but they finished. They finished like at, I was like waiting to be like interviewed or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I but it ended up finishing before that, and then the uh, the second time I never even got out of the uh, waiting room. Ah, uh, that's still further than which I've is, ever gotten. Which yeah. is better than I would, which is what I would prefer. I don't want to be dealing with stuff that's like, I don't want to have to multi be multiple days. And have no, to I mean, that. I've only had jury duty once, and the day before I had to go. I basically got a phone call saying I wasn't needed anymore. Yeah. What's crazy is um sometimes they tell you about like they were like the second time I went they were talking about like just like how there are cases that like go months and then your life is just kind of hijacked by jury duty. I mean and that's, and that's wild. That's actually you, like wild. Usually you just in randomly cases get like picked. So usually in cases like that, from my understanding, A, you get paid while you do it. You get paid like $50 a day for jury duty. I mean, it's like something. you don't. It's not which much. Is, it might depend on where you are, too. It's also not the, comparable to like what you make in a day. But anyway. Oh, probably not. But the other thing I believe is that they ask you if you're capable of being away for that amount of time. I would hope so. It'd be pretty lame if they were like, "Nope, sorry, you just this is we'll your life it. now for the next couple yeah. months." I mean, just I, the idea of jury duty in general is is pretty much like, no, you just have to do this. It's like I don't want to, but like you have to, or like we'll, we'll or like we'll punish you for it. Like, but, <laughs> but I don't, I don't want to. Why? Why can you just up? Why can you just take over? I'm, I think I'm a libertarian, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> well, you only have to do it twice, right? Isn't it once you do it twice, it's done? No. Oh, really? Three years, dude. Oh. I, I think it might be something like once you actually serve on a jury twice, you're done. Oh, okay. But like, but just getting jury duty, you're eligible once every three years. Yeah. Not not to mention that they tried that they tried to send me one one year later as well. And I was like, no, look at this. <laughs> look at the documentation. How is there not just like a Google spreadsheet somewhere that says <laughs> me elig eligible? No. Oh, so <laughs> like, let me let me get this straight, Matt. So you got jury duty when you were 18. Yes. And then you got it again when you were 21. Mm -hmm. So what I'm hearing is you're due again. You're you're due soon. Am I? I mean, you're twenty four. I am twenty four. Yeah. So it's Probably. been three years. Yeah. All right. So uh, round three coming this January. I really do. I can't wait for me and Dustin to have to be editing and doing the podcast on our own because you're on jury duty. Because I'm on. Because I'm on. Dude, I would rather. I would rather you guys be editing the podcast because I was on trial for something than <laughs> do it because I was on jury duty. At least I at least when I at least when eventually I got when I eventually when I get off because you know what you know I have a great lawyer or whatever. Uh I can come back and talk about it. 
and probably that break multiple story. laws. I don't think I can do that. I don't think you could. Well, once it's over, I think you can. Yeah. Uh, maybe. You're no, you're not allowed. allowed. You're not allowed can't to serve on the jury. He's uh, he has a podcast. <laughs> Sir, I'm a podcast. <laughs> Dude, they're like, all right. So, what do you do for a living? I'm a podcaster. Get him out of here. How, how many people listen to your podcast? I know about four. <clears throat> including the three people who were on <laughs> I have a, if it, if it ever gets to it, I have a couple. I have I have a couple outs. Yeah? Yeah. I think I have a pr I have a pretty decent case. I have a my my outs are like things of like things I can bring up is that uh if it has to I can if it has anything to do with a dad, I'm just like, "Oh, well, he's probably guilty." You know, oh boy! I'm not. This is all allegedly. I'm only alleged. I'm only allegedly gonna try to get out of doing lie to get out of doing jury duty. This is this is hypothetical. Oh, totally let's not say real. Hypothetically totally, speaking, to in hypothetically, Minecraft, in hypothetically Minecraft. speaking, in Minecraft, I would just be like, yeah, well, 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 that's kind of a rough spot for me. Also, I, my, also, my dad was a cop, so I just don't like cops. So if it has <laughs> anything to do with a cop, if a cop was involved at all in this. I think it's just a hard no for me. Oh, the guy was arrested by a cop. Sorry, <laughs> I'm on his side. I'm, I'm biased. Can't, can't worry. Dude, just when they start showing you the photos of the people involved, like, do you know this person? He's like, yep, no, right away. Yep, mm -hmm. yep. Mm -hmm. That's actually uh, my brother. It's a woman. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's actually my. Uh, that's my older that's brother. My brother. It's like a oh. it's a child. It's like also my brother. Yeah. Also, yeah. you were looking I, ahead. I, that's also my brother. <laughs> I read this on Reddit just the other day where a teacher was serving on jury duty and they had to recuse themselves because the uh, person being accused was the parent of one of their current classmates or one of their current students. Wow. That's the person that's literally was like, yeah, I'd recuse myself because they were a, stu a parent of a current student of mine. That would explain why they weren't returning my emails, though. <laughs> Yeah, my music such... teacher in eighth grade was gone for like a month or two because he was on jury duty. Really? Wait, in eighth grade? Your music maybe, teacher? No, eighth not eighth grade. Uh, maybe it was sixth grade. Yeah, I think it was I sixth know. grade. I don't remember that. I remember back in sixth grade when I was on trial for all those crimes I committed. That damn straight. Yeah. When I was in sixth grade. All of the crimes. When I allegedly illegally downloaded a uh, a cracked version of Adobe Photoshop. Ah, yep. allegedly. Allegedly, one hundred percent allegedly. Have never pirated software in my life. Um, no I was way. Gonna say, no um, it's funny though that you talk about trying to get out of jury duty. I'm almost the opposite, Matt. I would love to serve on a jury. Wow. Oh yeah, you... totally. Me too. It's like really? not for not for like a case that would take months, but like for a case that would take like two or three days. I'd be down for a couple months, whatever. Yeah. My my dad served on a murder jury before. Dang. Why do you do it? Uh, because the guy was threatening my mom. Uh, I see. Makes sense. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, no, he, he hasn't talked too much about it. All I really know is that he was on the jury and they found the guy guilty. I don't know anything else about it. So cool. I also I don't know. I, I, right I, the, the only other thing I know is I'm pretty sure it happened well before I was born in like early 90s, maybe even the 80s. Oh, I mean, he was the like 90s, in the 90s, of course. When it happened. Of course, the 90s. Running in the nineties. Running. Rob, no That's pressure song, on man. you, but uh, that is a song. Nah, I'm no aware pressure. it's the song. I just don't know whose song is up. Yeah, no pressure, Rob. Uh, this is kind of all on you. Oh, you don't say. Oh, well, you're, 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 you. <laughs> you're kind of getting rolled. <laughs> kind of getting rolled at the end. You know there, what? You know what Robert, you know, I'm gonna put all that blame on Matt. Cool. I'm gonna put all that blame on none of you guys putting anything in defense. Yo, you want a you want a fence? What color? <laughs> like a like white picket fence? Like suburbia? Suburban America? Is that what you want? I just you want like the chain link. I'm trying to keep the kids out of your pool. 
I want to move on from this river. Is what I want. All right. You're trying to keep. You're trying to keep kids out of your pool. Like a chain link fence. We're gonna put it real up high, so no one can climb over it. What kind of fence are you looking for? One that keeps out the people that don't belong, Matt. Whoa. Build, build okay. You, build, Hold on. Build, build, build you a fence. Um. So, what else is going on with you guys? Anything, Nim? Um. No, not too much. They did an interview yesterday. Oh, yeah, the interview for the. Yeah. You think it went well? Well, so. It was not exactly for the position I thought it was for. Really? They made it. Well. So, the assignment online said it was a long-term subbing position. It was for an elementary school, and it said math long-term sub, okay? Mm -hmm. So, what would you think that would entail? Uh, uh, that you'd be teaching math. Yep. Yeah. Right? Yeah, and that you would be, and you would be uh, the substitute teacher for a time longer than a short amount of time. Okay, I would say, I don't know, long term sub. You're definitely not just in there for a day, maybe like okay. a month or something. Well, congratulations, you guys described it in the most vague way possible, so you are correct. Nice. Um, I was under the impression that it was for one of the upper grades because. Okay. Uh, at least where we are, the schools tend not to... You're with the same teacher all day, unless you're, like, in the upper elementary grades. Oh, really? Well, yeah, like, when we were well, in, in school, yeah, we, it wasn't were until fifth like, grade. we were in kindergarten, first, second grade, we were all with the same teacher. It wasn't yeah, it until wasn't third grade that we would swap. Yeah. We swapped around, didn't we? Definitely didn't. Not in grade. the younger grades. I feel like I didn't do it until fifth grade. Well, the different schools are different. Oh, yeah, yeah, that too. But anyways, so because of that, I assumed it was, you know, with an older grade. No, no, no. Kindergarten, first grade. Oh. Um, in you fact, like it wasn't even a, in no. fact, it wasn't even as a teacher, Dustin. Really? As a student? No, dude, I <laughs> fucking wish. <laughs> Billy Madison? <laughs> no. Um, essentially, as a specialist... So what that basically means is that um, while I would come in while, and teach a class about math, but I don't have like my own classroom. Oh. And then I might take small groups of students out of the classroom and do math with them. But That's like a lot of stuff they should put in like the job description. Yeah. Like when you're applying. They don't. That's also just a weird system. Like, why? So, anyways, what? I think the interview went fine. Is it the job all... you even want anymore? But, I, well, I, I'm thinking about it. But, like I said, like I told my parents, you know, I explained to them, and they, they were aware that I mostly work the middle school level. Um, And I explained all of my concerns about working as a kindergarten and first grade teacher. So, I highly doubt they're going to even ask me. But I feel like the interview itself went fine. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I'm not... If they do offer it to me, I'm not positive I would accept it. I would think about it. It's only for about two and a half months. So it's not for too, too long of a time. Especially when you consider that two and a half months also includes winter break. Okay. And then you kind of got experience, like, I don't know, I guess that would look good. I know that's a kind of a cop-out thing to say, but it is a thing you put on a resume. Right, and it certainly pays better than what I'm currently doing, but... Yeah. But, like, after that two months, still... you, wouldn't, you wouldn't still be a... You would just go back to... I'd go back to doing day-to-day -day subbing. Yeah. Unless I got another long-term sub position. Mm -hmm. 
which is fine. I mean, that's my plan, basically, is just to do long-term subbing positions. The length of time isn't an issue. The issue is the grade. Yeah. There we fuck. There we go. I understand. I don't like kids. <sighs> yeah. I had a bit of a rough day at work today. Oh, no. What, what happened? happened? So, they, start, they started out okay. A couple hours in, customer tells me the toilet's clogged. God, that's not great. And so I, you know, try to hit with the plunger. Uh, doesn't work. Arguably made it even worse. Ah, so I was fun. Like, so I was like, well, that was the beginning and end of my plumbing knowledge. So, <laughs> when I went ahead and put in a work order, which is basically like just telling the company, hey, can you send like an actual plumber over here to get this done? Uh, oh, no. Apparently going to take three business days for them to get here. <laughs> That's kind of what? odd. What are they mailing themselves with FedEx? What does that mean? Three <laughs> business days to get there. It, just it's the, they have like priority levels, I guess, and it got P oh. three, oh. so we had to wait three business days for them to right. get there. A uh, <laughs> few hours pass by. Like oh. Seven thirty. Okay. Uh, I have some when there's too much money in one of the cash registers. I have to pretty much take it out and put it in our safe. Uh, yeah. So I tried doing that. Our safe has a keypad, like a code. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is it? Put the code in? No, I'm not going to tell you. Uh, oh. Also, uh, it wouldn't matter much because it didn't work. Oh. <laughs> and it gave me some little message saying, check the wires or press the reset button. Uh, there was no reset button. Check the wires? There was like, <laughs> I'm not going to rip the thing off the safe <laughs> to check the check. wires. Yeah, cut, go in and cut the blue <laughs> wire. Right. Don't cut, so, the, don't, cut the, don't cut the red one. Uh, <laughs> there are of... three wires and the serial number has a vowel. <laughs> oh, you're full. Oh, what? Fucking keep see talking and no one explodes. See if there's two it. yellow levels. There's a white button and it says red on it. What do I do? <laughs> and there's a blue button that says detonate. <laughs> yeah, click that. The, 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 it says click that. So I... I texted my uh, manager, my boss, and I was like, uh, you know, just told him about it. And he was like, oh, I have no idea. I've never seen that before. I was like, all right, cool. Well, he's due. Let me call someone in the management team who's been here a while. So I text her. She doesn't respond. And then I see that there's like a little sticker on the safe that she tells me like a little helpful thing to do, which mm -hmm. is basically just take out the battery and put it back in. So I text both of them back. I was like, oh, you know, sorry, never mind. I found out. Uh... The person I texted second messages back, oh, no problem. Just, you know, call me if you need anything again. Uh, turns out that battery thing didn't work. <laughs> Tried calling her back. Ooh. Didn't pick up. <laughs> no, I, I, no I, I relate to that heavily, Dustin. Don't worry. I, it wouldn't, has have, been, I wouldn't have sent I anyone have, a message until seeing if the battery worked. I have the same. I guess, yeah. But I have... <laughs> Roughly three and a half hours later, still no callback. <laughs> oh boy! I don't know why she mentioned it. So I was like, okay, I guess I have to, I have to call the company for the safe, see what they say. So I call them. I tell them what the message says. Were, were there no other workers at the time? No one else you? that would know. Just a bunch of cashiers. Oh, God. You are the most. I'm, you're, I'm, you're, I'm you're, a... you're the. You're the. You're your seniority here. Yes. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, that yeah, can... says something. What if the you're hell? seniority there, I'm a manager. Wait, wait a minute, he's a manager. Well, not no, the, the manager. I'm part of the management team. Wow, I thought yeah. you only worked there for like four months. Yeah, I did. Ah, well, I started there in January, and then he's that good. Me... And I needed he's the that... money because after the trip, so I was like, okay, fine, I'll do it. Look, no, I get like, that. I'm not. I'm not, me, I'm not trying to criticize you for doing your job. Yeah, it does. I don't think you're, I you could ever I be did... management material. <laughs> No, I was just surprised because he hadn't been working there that long. Yeah, well, I did, did enough you... at uh, CVS, and they were like, hey, do it here, too. Ah, uh, well, okay. The longest I guess time I... I said no. True, I guess if you have experience, even if it's at a different store, like, that helps. You would be surprised yeah. how good you know, being a, like, a, some, like, a sentient, competent person can get you in places. Absolutely. At just being... Because it seems like there's there's not a lot like the amount of people at work that I work with that I would consider like 
normal functioning human beings? <laughs> it's not a lot. <laughs> like, people that, like, have basic common sense is a big one. Like, just normal people. There are not many of them, dude. So, um, <laughs> so yeah, I called the company, the safe company, told them what happened. And uh, lay in the phone said, like, yeah, you're gonna, you got to put a work order in for that. I was like, are you seriously? <laughs> so I, and I asked, like, so you're like, sure, there's literally nothing I can do on my part. The only way this is getting fixed is if I put in a work order and you guys come in. And he's like, mm -hmm. I mean, you can switch the battery, but that's about it. I was like, okay, cool. Well, I, tr I tried that, so. Yeah, so I put in the work order. So you know how I told you about the priority thing that the bathroom had? How it got yeah. a P3, which means three day three business days. Yeah. Th this got a the code to our safe where we keep all of our money <laughs> got a P5. <laughs> As in five business days we would have to wait. But the toilet got three. three. <laughs> which I would argue they should probably both get one. <laughs> All of our money is in there. We have we no can't money. Get it. <laughs> we can't get the money. And it gets five I, days. I, I like the idea that this implies that having a working bathroom is a higher priority than accessing any of your money. Apparently. So, um, right. and I, not only that, not only that. So I, check, I checked it back in the system just to double check that it went through. So, but I looked at the date. You know, five business days, that would just be next week. That would be uh, November 4th. Oh, can, can I take a guess? Go ahead. Um, They're treating Halloween as a holiday? Apparently, because it said November 7th for the date they would come in. They gotta count Halloween as a holiday. They gotta get their candy, bro. They can't be coming in to fix your safe and fix your toilet. They gotta get their three musketeers and their freaking Skittles, my guy. So it's I'm like, huge. It's big. It's big important stuff, man. And by this time, I'm supposed to be, like, counting our drawers already. And I don't know where to start because I can't put the money from the drawers in the safe anymore. So, you know, I call my boss, try to see right. what, what I should do, do? With this. I basically got to put an envelope and hide it. Oh, and my you, God. Oh, where'd you hide also, it? Yeah, where'd you hide it, Dustin? <laughs> I'm going to stay quiet on that, I guess. <laughs> Dustin, outside of the podcast, would you tell us where you hid it or not? Yeah, sure. Okay, okay Dustin, cool. if you were to hide love... money in an envelope, where would you hypothetically hide it? In the envelope? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we, uh, figured out this, we figured out this whole thing and how I'm supposed to do it. Eventually, I actually get a call from the safe company. I'm like, oh my god, finally, good news today. You know, oh, today was no. also just... It was also just busy, and my had we, someone new cashier kept calling me up every ten minutes, so that was yeah. also kind of annoying. But I got, I'm on the phone from the person. I was like, "Oh, thank God!" And he goes, "Yeah, so um, can you just give us the serial number for the safe or whatever, and let us know what it is." So I called it to them. And he goes, "Yeah, okay, so um, just hack you, your safe, idiot." I'm assuming like, "Oh, he's gonna walk me through it here. That's perfect. It's, who cares about the five days, whatever?" And he goes, "Yeah, so um, we have you in our system as a." As a P5, some with immersion like this, you don't want a P5. You want like you want us in immediately, you know, because yeah, you, know, you have it in now. But you're gonna have us in on Monday, and I was like, yeah, October, yeah, uh, November seventh. He was like, oh, so you're okay with that? I was like, no, no, please come in as soon as you can. <laughs> and this dude tells me like, oh yeah, so you just have to call your company's help desk and change it to a priority one. And I was like, I found it weird. I was like. This whole priority thing still doesn't really make sense to me. It's like, how will you just ignore it and come in tomorrow if you're offering me this? Well, well. so if I'm understanding this correctly, let me make sure I understand this right, Dustin. Mm -hmm. So essentially, the safe company called you. Mm -hmm. They're like, hey, this is a pretty massive issue. Right. Uh, but it sounds like they can only go somewhere if the upper company your upper company tells them to go there i mean they know that it's a thing and it's they up have to all the, the upper company which the priority is and they therefore that's why they can't just go i mean maybe i guess i don't know that's what it's it sounds like to me it's a bunch of corporate like you know it's just too big for its own good and you end up getting like these systems that just don't work and just make everything more complicated I can't imagine it would be that difficult for them to send a person out, like, the next day to right, figure yeah. it out.
but the system is going to tell you the system the system's going to arbitrarily you know arbitrarily set apparently oh this is a five right. so they don't need it because this is the moment that you get any kind of human interaction they're like wait a minute you need that but um that there's money in there he he you know he tells me call your help desk I'm looking around because we have a bunch of phone numbers in the office help desk help desk help desk help desk there's something called service desk and it's involving you call your so own many. customer service you call yourself <laughs> so i so i call service desk and it's just a robot you know saying press one for this press two for this i'm like okay i'll wait this out eventually if you don't say anything they'll just give you to a human anyways they don't <laughs> and they just name a bunch of things that don't apply to me so I'm like i don't know nine for security i guess and it's like uh you know your security code your lights this other thing i was like uh okay i guess this is done so we just didn't have a working safe tonight and i didn't bother asking the manager because i'm pretty sure if he knew a way to change the priority he would have said no 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 no, change the priority we're not waiting till the seventh to get our safe or fixed. he would have done it himself yeah oh no just would have gone so, in and did it are you working in tomorrow yes i am i am close. oh boy i, I want updates <laughs> sure I want but, live Well, assuming updates. if you're closing, I assume probably the issue will be either... Oh, the issue's either, not going to be solved. No way. Either solved or we found our own way to work through... Oh, I'm just going to have to hide our cash again. Yeah. That's also the thing, is that Mondays and Fridays, the bank comes by to pick up our money. And oh, we won't no. be able to do that, because we can't get in the safe. And, yeah. Uh, so, so you want to hear something... Weird. Yeah, I'm good. No. All right. <laughs> Go <ahead>. So <laughs> she is gonna end the episode there. <laughs> no, 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 no. You you want to hear know. this? You want to hear this? Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, um, Dustin, would Me. it surprise you if I said you are not the only one here who is now a man who is a manager? Well, because <laughs> through a bizarre turn of events. I am a manager of a European company. <laughs> okay. Go, go on. <laughs> We're not going to sit on this. <laughs> oh, you want me to explain? Okay, so... <laughs> essentially, um, what happened was... So for a number of years, I helped out with this speedrunning event. Right, yeah. And recently, I decided to start helping out this different event. Because it more suited where my interests are right now. Now, this second event is called uh, Bingothon. Hmm. Right. And it does a lot of, like, the speedrunning bingos. And... Rob the Gamer 105 staple. Yeah. And why... There's a number of differences between that and the first group that I worked with. But the biggest one is, is that the first group I worked with, the only money stuff that we dealt with was, like, being, you know, being Twitch affiliate. Other than that, there was nothing we had to worry about. This other group does a lot of charity work as well as operates their own store. And most of the staff members are European-based. So I guess a year ago, they set up a European company so that they could go forward with their plans at the time. So when I joined them as staff, I was asked if I could give my information so that in name pretty much only, I would be a manager of this company in Europe. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, and there, it doesn't affect my taxes at all. Well, that's good. And I don't have to worry about the money aspect at all. But, so it's more like an honorary title than anything, I guess. Sure. But it's still a little funny. 
Rob is gonna we're, we're, there's gonna be a massive lawsuit against his company at some point. Rob's gonna have to go all the way to the UK. To, not even not to, even Germany. Oh, he's gonna have to go to even better. Deutsch. He's gonna have to go to you're gonna have to go. I, 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 think, go it's, to I think it's German based. I might be wrong on that though. I think it's German based. Ich heiße Rob. Ich heiße Rob the gamer. Eins eins. Eins dry. Wait, yeah, eins dry. I don't speak German. Eat wund. Yeah, you're right. Eins eins wund. Does it were the same German class at one point? Mm, you think? Probably, maybe. I feel like we were. I mean, there wasn't that many German teachers at school. Well, well one yeah. teacher had multiple classes. Yeah, but I feel like. I don't know. No, I get that, but odds are one time your class is lined up, I'm sure. Probably. Yeah, probably. I don't so know. I, I have no way of trying to get to just the same teacher, so. Yeah. We just got to go based on memory. My memory, which I don't have that anymore. So. Yeah. I remember one time I was talking to a friend that you that we all know. Oh, boy. And, um. Uh, yes, we were talking about like when we first met. When we first met, I was like, "Oh yeah, remember you and I? We met in a German class." And he was like, "We didn't meet in German class." Like, yeah, we did. That's when I first met. We were in German class together. And he was like, "I took French." I was like, no, no, you didn't. All three, yeah, all three years I took French. I was like, "When did we meet then?" And he's like, "I don't know." <laughs> well, That's maybe maybe it was German funny. class. Maybe he was just really bad at German class. <laughs> yeah. Really bad at German. He died yeah. at French. Yeah. Or Dad Dustin was really bad at French. Oh man, that'd be a shocker. No man, if I to like again. Yeah. I oh my goodness. Oopsalon. 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 Rob, do you know what Oopsalon means? That's a Greek letter, my dude. Well that's absolutely no. No, there's also Upsilon or Upsilon. Uh, well, Upsilon is also a German letter. Yeah, ah. it's a German letter. So what does it mean? It's just a letter? It's yeah, a letter. It's a, ah, right. how it's interesting. Why. Wow, wow. It's you know, funny I how... care about your stories too, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm, sorry. I'm just sorry. saying. I'm... I talk about being a manager of a European company. You guys talk about a letter in German. Dude, German's sick. Germany. Is... Wait, the rest of the, the rest of the alphabet sounds somewhat normal, and then yeah, the second like, last uh, letter is uh, oopsalon. Se, de, oopsalon. <laughs> you gotta say it like it. You gotta say it like oopsalon. <laughs> oopsalon. <laughs> well, it's like I never was good at remembering the Spanish alphabet, but the beginning of it was like a b c d e f a. F a. And then I think it was gay. Same in German. Yep. And then H was oh, ha, so it was wrong. gay ha. Oh. <laughs> I, th I think I think H in Spanish was ha se. Um, Dude, H in sign is. Spanish is always my worst subject. Also, nice joke there, Matt. That wasn't a joke. <laughs> he did it. Um, he, he did it. Was, uh, yeah, I did it for real. He did it for real. Kind of stuff. Yeah. I just wanted to share my insight. Would you ever be a sign interpreter, Matt? Dude, I am nowhere good enough to do that, but I mean, they make bank. Well, if you learned, would you, uh, would you, try, would you try to learn to do it? 100%. All right, so Matt, here here's a question, okay? Okay. When, when you do get to be that level, okay? Okay. Will you put out a special version of the podcast where you sign the entire podcast? Sure. For anyone who wants. You know, it just occurred to me that if you're deaf and you're watching, you're probably just going to read yeah, captions. Yeah, 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 if you're deaf, you're probably not listening to a podcast. <laughs> well, or you're watching for captions, not probably someone signing. Yeah. It's like, remember the Game Awards when Forza won, like, <laughs> Best Accessibility, and yeah. there's just this person doing sign in the corner of the racing, of the racing game? It was like, just oh, that was weird. 
And it's like, why do I need someone to sign out Vroom <laughs> over and over again? It's funny because they're way on? better contenders in that category too. Which I yeah, that was so weird. That, that was so weird. <laughs> I remember being like, like, like oh, oh yeah in the five sub in the five uh cutscenes you have in forza there's an audio interpreter it's like cool i guess i'll just put on subtitles i think mean, yes. the five stuff <laughs> um uh dustin when you said uh that you're that you know you had you know person at work that was like oh well call me i'm always i'll always be there Mm-hmm. My boss does that all the time. And he That's never shame. answers his phone or responds to my texts. Or he does, it'll be like four hours later when I've already figured out what I needed to do. Uh currently there's an issue where I ne well, it's always a current issue an issue where I always don't have what I need to finish my menu. I'm always mm -hmm. either missing something. And today there was uh, I needed something that we had some of it, but it was in like the emergency stock like should there be in like a legitimate like emergency we have all that food there all like canned stuff and like dried stuff that can be made you know if like there's an earthquake or a tsunami or whatever uh and i needed some of that so i text him and i say hey can i take some of this from emergency or should i do something different you notice how there are two options there mm -hmm. there are two Option, there are two clear options can, there. Ooh, can I take a guess, Matt? Can I take a guess? Yeah. They replied yes. They literally just replied yes. <laughs> like, and I'm like, I'm like, okay. You know what? I don't care. I really don't care. I I figured I would do the right thing and make sure before I touched anything. But at this point, I don't care. So I I just took from it. And they'll have to deal with that later. And if there's an emergency and they don't have their can of peaches. Top I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, blame him. Jeez. The this week's been crazy because so, you know, you know, it's a it's a kitchen and you're supposed to, you know, the people are supposed to come in and make sure everything's all hunky dory and all that. Yeah. How is that how kitchens work? Yeah, like, you know, the it's DPH and whatnot, Department of Public Health and whatever. Mm -hmm. But the thing is because of COVID, they haven't been they haven't been coming. So you guys like I, I, no, no, no. Oh. We've been fine, but they haven't. It's been years since the last time they did a thing because they haven't come in and done it since COVID started. They haven't really done like an inspection. No, they haven't come in. Not uh, so, and they don't tell you when you're gonna come in. No, no. So, I'm off Monday and Tuesday. The state comes in. And I'm I'm told while I'm not there, I'm still told, hey, this that the state came in. So I'm like, okay, cool. When I go in, they probably won't be there anymore because they only take like a day or two to do their thing. Mm -hmm. I get there, DPH is there. Now I'm learning that DPH is different from the state. So I'm like, okay, that's fine, and they do their thing and it's all good. But this whole time my boss is like stressing out because He's like worried something's gonna happen, but so they're there Wednesday, they're Wednesday, Thursday. I go into work today. I'm like, fine, finally, that's all, all done. And I'm like, being, I don't know, I'm a little lax because I'm like, well, they're, you know, they're, they're done. And walks in the city. The guy wow, from the city? city came in today, and I'm like, what are you, like, what are you doing? He's like, yeah, I'm just from the city. Got to look at like. How many people are you? It's fucking like is the is like the neighborhood watch gonna send a guy? Fucking HOA gonna come out and check what we're doing? Our next County's door neighbor, the county, our next door neighbor, one of the one of the one of the residents is gonna come down with a clipboard. Like Jesus Christ, how many times do we need to check? How many times do we need to be checked? Like, and how did they organize that? Do they have like a group chat that's like, okay, you get Monday and Tuesday, you get Wednesday, Thursday, and then you'll psych them out, and we'll get them on Friday. Like, Better yet, Matt, uh, here? Next, next to show up is actually going to be Dustin and I. <laughs> yep. you, you, you guys. <laughs> this yeah. has been a fun. We're just trying <laughs> to get some information from you. Your local podcasters have to come <laughs> and make sure that you're following all the regulations. Yeah, and if not, we are going to get the word out to everyone. 
I never want to meet another pod. I don't ever want to meet another person that has a podcast unless we have a bigger podcast than them. I'm not gonna. So I'm you not, don't want to ever meet people. Well, you don't want to punch you know, up. I don't. I don't. Look, I. I don't want to be the person that has the smaller podcast. Fair. That's just that's just double layer layers of shame. Oh I'm already God. saying <laughs> I right. have a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I might as well be the. Uh, I might I might as well have the the cooler one, and then Fair. that kind of gets it. Like I'm very insecure. Let me be, please. Let me exist with a podcast uh, sure. and not go to therapy. If you say so. I feel like we need a different level. I don't know where to go from here. We are kind of getting we are kind of getting rolled by the legend twenty seven over and over again. Yeah, so this one player what can keeps I do? kicking my can I ass. Just go. Yeah, go there. I think no, because they, they can't. They, no, this oh, no the doc. They're just like, hey, and you need been... this stuff in order to move on. Uh, I think we. I think this is actually our only place. Is there anywhere else we can buy better stuff? Yeah. Um. I think if you go back to the beginning. All right. So then let's go back to the. Well, it's that. That's an arrow. Oh, Black say, that, yeah. awesome. that sounds good. Yeah, I think this is. Can the we place. get some good shit? Because that'll yeah. help us. Yeah. Go into the frog. We are inside the frog. I also have a twig. I don't know how the. the, the... Huh. Yeah, you're. Dude, staff. I can't read the stats because our icons <laughs> are blocking them. Hmm. Yeah, what a great maybe the table. maybe the twig isn't the best weapon. <laughs> It's yeah, all you know minus. What I'm it's pressing all R. Mi- Give it to me. It's all minus, dude. Maybe I shouldn't be using the twig. What's this? No, no, no. If you're looking at an item and it says minus, that means you lose something. Yeah, no, I only get speed. I lose defense by holding the twig. Give me something that does damage. Give me strength or give me... The- Why this? can I not pick this up? I don't know. Oh, because I'm already holding it. I'm not. There you are. You see an Elliot. Dustin, you're blue. Dustin's red. I'm red. Oh. Now you're thinking I'm blue. Fuck! (laughs) (laughs) You're making the same mistake I did. Oh my goodness. I thought, who am I? (laughs) You're orange. (laughs) (laughs) I want something that gives me more damage. It's funny, I jokingly said at the beginning we were going to get confused because I (laughs) did. But now we actually are. Wait, no. I'll let you know. Wait, I knew Dustin who moved. I was the I wanna, entire Dustin, time. I want to see what this does, and you're in my way. Oh, no. Okay. You also got to move. Yeah. Aw. I'm trying to okay. get this hammer, but I can't. I'm pressing R. It won't give it to me. You have it. Did you just kid. get it? How do you no, get it? What? It's destroyed, kid. Do you have enough for it? I think only one person can have it at a time, right? Is there a, is there a cost? I don't, think, I don't think so. Is there anything down here? Mad, more... switch your weapon for a second. Uh, sure. Um, this. All right, Dustin, try hitting something. Not working. Are I'm you hitting trying, the right I've been trying to get this since we entered the frog. <laughs> Maybe you're What's not. It's your hit button. It's just your hit button. Just my hit button? Yeah, you're like swipe. Oh, nope. he's not allowed to have it for some reason. Look at there's a. Oh, little... not allowed to have it. Oh. Maybe your maybe your strength score isn't high enough. Oh, I got something. Okay, I got this. Don't know what was different from everything else. Maybe like you don't have a high enough strength. Maybe you're not strong enough. Maybe. What with this? That's got good Ooh. defense. Ooh. Oh wait a minute. This is good magic of someone. Oh wait, who's that, a wait, magic user. wait, doesn't stand over here. Doesn't stand mm-hmm. over by it. Mm-hmm. Over by the hammer. Oh, hammer. Oh, never mind. It says one. Yeah, it just always said one for me. I thought it would be like level, you're like only level one, so you can hold it. No, I'm level eight. Oh. Uh, well, for, if we get level 10, we can come back and we can get some of this, get the cool stuff. You know, level 13. That's wild, man. You get How the, good is the glow? What are the. Oh, this one. Want to keep going? Want to just wanna, wanna explore this frog a little bit? Oh, I guess we're done. That's all there is to a frog. Oh, I can't take the bat? Oh. 
Hmm? Let's go back. All right. All well, right. I think from oh. here I can just exit the map. All right, shopping episode over. Oh. I just realized I was like, we need to figure out how to fix the situation so that we can move on. <laughs> this truly is a uh, this truly is a trying to put the gas in the car moment. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully now we can continue the podcast and uh, you know what what what, 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 what podcast are you talking about? Or, I'm sorry. Let's play. You guys got a podcast? It's crazy. Yeah. Matt, I noticed uh, what you named the last episode. I really liked it. That was a good title. <laughs> Although, why not Pink Sheik this time? Oh, because I haven't done the thumbnail yet. Oh, is that literally just a screenshot of the game? Yeah, I haven't done the thumbnail yet. Uh, I, it kind of fell to the wayside. I got kind of caught up. My dude, uh, you can't just I, upload something without the thumbnail. I do whatever I want. <laughs> <laughs> Not if you're gonna expect my eight dollars every month. It's gonna be a check. It's gonna be a check. It's gonna be a jump scare. You're gonna. You're gonna. You're gonna see, and you're gonna get. You're gonna get lulled into a false sense of security, and then oh, suddenly boy. I'm gonna change the thumbnail. You're gonna be like, oh. mm. no, I just haven't done it yet. Oh, good. No, good title. Thank you. Real thank good you, title. Thank yeah. You, thank you. All right. Thank you. Oh, by the way, I, I, by the way, I, I was talking about Rooster Teeth. At the oh. beginning of last episode, <laughs> you were <laughs> the answer. Yeah, in case you were wondering, next episode for the answer. <laughs> yeah, in case you were wondering, I was talking about rooster teeth. Oh, yeah. Okay. How uh, was that? Just they like are. A game? Well, because I kept trying to like specify it more, and I was. I mean, I know exactly who you were talking about. Same. I just wanted to make sure I yeah. actually said it because they're in a lot of hot comments. water. Yeah, all the people I mean, in the new hot water, or I mean, I don't know. When is it not new? I feel like it's every day, man. Why? What's the latest? I feel like it's every day, bro. Uh, that Disney wage, Channel flow. Wage thefts, people being overworked. Yeah. Really? The whole slur thing. Yeah. Wait, the, the sl thing. yeah, I haven't heard you, about the slur. You don't know about the happened? slur thing? No. Oh, happened. apparently, uh, one of the employees apparently it was just like our average thing for them to just call them a. Well, I think it like started. They were just calling him the F slur, as like a oh nickname, my God. as like a nickname. Uh, but then they were like, "Can't do that," so we're just gonna call him something that was like. Well, specifically on it, camera, they say they couldn't do it, so they started calling F slur. Wow, boy. Yeah. And then like every single person had it's. It's really weird. It's really it really sucks seeing uh, seeing uh, you know, you know, watching like Achievement Hunter. And then yeah. suddenly you're like, okay, let's see, uh, let's see, uh, you know. Oh, everyone from Achievement Hunter uh, like has just posted a twit longer. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's not fun. I don't like that at all. Dude, yeah. I was shocked because I actually remember that nickname too when she said it in the twit longer. I was like, oh my god, that's what that meant this entire time. That's what they were getting oh, at. Oh boy. Yeah, and then that went into like a lot of uh, overworking and bad workplace, and then Rooster Teeth, the Rooster, and then they're like, and Rooster Teeth was like, "Hey, we don't say slurs anymore. We don't, we don't do that. We've looked at, hey, as a company that has been on the internet for a long time, we have made mistakes." And like, what are you talking about? It's not been okay to say those words for quite a while. You didn't grow up, yeah, and you weren't no. company to in our old time. We're talking. He's saying the saying slurs in 2022, my guy. You can't just can't just be like, oh, we made mistakes. Sounds like uh, I made the choice of stopping to watch them when I did. So, I mean, pretty, I think we all did pretty yeah. much. Yeah. Well, I stop. I just stopped because their content was bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, but then, but I stuck around. Like I followed their social media and stuff just to see if they would eventually make something good. But now I'm just done. Yeah. I was like, okay, you don't deserve it. Like how many no. times? I I mostly stopped just because I couldn't keep up with how much stuff they were putting out, and it was hard to sort the good from the bad. Yeah, yeah. because it was all bad, pretty much. It wasn't all bad, but it was enough bad that it was hard to know what was good or bad without watching like a good chunk of it first. I guess depending on the time you're talking about. Yeah, uh, I'm talking about like between. A year ago and like two years ago. Okay, that's oh, fair. Because so 2021, that's what I was like, okay, it's all bad. 
but 2020 style was good. I think the last thing I watched was... Yeah, I'm talking Sky like F- beginning of COVID. Yeah. Oh, I stopped watching before that. I think I'm I'm thinking like Sky Factory. Oh. Achievement Hunter. Oh, wow. That was... Okay. No, yeah. Sky Factory was good. That was a yeah, decent it was good. Yeah, it was good. good. Yo, yeah. is that going to be a podcast next week? Sky Factory? <laughs> Dude, yeah. Yeah, sure. Let's all... Yeah, yeah we're going to figure that out. <laughs> Not only we're gonna figure that out, we're gonna figure that out without talking about what we're doing, and we're gonna get and we're gonna get to a point where it's interesting within two hours. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now nah, we'll figure something out. We always do. Oh yeah, we always do. Sometimes man. only about uh, an hour before we are uh, ready to hey, record. Hey, you don't gotta, you don't gotta leak our secrets, my guy. Come on, man. No, you don't gotta leak. We always know what we're doing. So is this when we uh, confess that uh, our nickname for you on camera is Nags? Jesus wow. fucking Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, cut it there. <laughs> yeah, that's where it ends. <laughs> Dustin, no, it doesn't. Rob, if you want to, if you want to, if you want to come up with cute nicknames for each other's based on our relevant slurs, I am cool with that. Uh, I don't think I am not cool. With, I am any. not cool with that. That was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> you will call me the full word or nothing. Whoa! Oh, don't give them <laughs> that up. <laughs> yeah, no, I think I'll hey, you uh, call, you kindly, call me kindly pat. Look at my crack. Do you want? All right, so this whole part's getting cut. <laughs> 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 Just cut it all. <laughs> Just have uh, one massive bleep for like thirty seconds. We we're doing uh, good. Bleeps again. Well, yeah. what are we gonna do? Bleep, what are we gonna bleep. do? What are we gonna do? Get can yo we, yo no well no one's getting canceled on Musk's Twitter, so I think we're good. Yeah, we're Real. good, man. We're good. We're safe. I stopped circling that back. Yeah, that's why they pay me the big bucks, ladies and gentlemen, NBs and all them. You mean eight dollars? No, all the money that we've been making from the podcast, I haven't been given to you. Oh, um, okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All of it. Boys, these uh, new weapons are really helping out a lot, huh? We really did just clear through that. <laughs> <laughs> With relative ease. Turns out, actually helps the buy shit. <laughs> I kind of just want to do that forever. <laughs> Hey, I uh, do like I do like yep. the parts the parts where uh Yeah. Uh the parts you get where you're just like hovering in the air and hitting over and over again. I'll distract him. I got him. I don't got him. Oh, he's sick now. He's sick with it. Not down with the sickness. Ooh, ah, ah. Oh, ah. Level 14! I don't want to die! <laughs> nice jump. <laughs> oh. I wanted to show it off you before you died. I... So nice my, jump. Sister, my sister is starting to teach my nephew a tiny amount of sign language. Uh, really? Nice. That's cool. Uh, and so I shared with my mom the two things of sign language I've learned from you, Matt. Elevator oh, and I want to die. What elevator <laughs> and I want to die? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did they ask how you knew that? I explained how I knew that, and I also explained oh. that just so you know, the two things that I learned could not be any more different from each other. Also, not things you. Sh- also, one of those things you should not teach <laughs> to your nephew. No, no, I wasn't planning on teaching my nephew anything. Do not teach your nephew how to say the word elevator. Of course not. Why would I do that? Very dangerous. That's something Very only dangerous. a parent should be doing for a child. Yeah. Of course, of course. This I don't want to place. overstep my boundaries. As yeah, uncle, definitely you know? not your definitely not your place to. Uh, no, no, not at all. Something like that. Of course, of course. No. Nah. 